Welcome to the Spectrum. The whole concept of Spectrum came from the range of possibilities of research that's going on at Scripps. There's some real challenges, and one of the challenges is bridging the gap between what happens in basic research and what needs to happen in clinical practice. So we're going to be having a discussion about how do we enhance the process of drug discovery. It's the golden age of biology. Despite all of that science, you know, medicines that are being created around the world, there's still a huge need for new medicines. Caliber has taken a proactive approach and, and in differentiating ourselves from how other folks have done it, the most profound finding that we have is that we can provide a method of treating patients with cellular therapies potentially, where we can do on-demand in vivo expansion of those cells. And it completely changes the way we think about treating patients with cellular immunotherapies. K34 is not only an example of how Scripps Caliber has taken and translated a basic scientific discovery into a medicine that is now in phase one clinical trials, but that it also has the chance to change this landscape and be one of the first regenerative therapies for OA. We can take these fibroblasts from people, turn them into stem cells, and make copies of your genome, and then turn those stem cells into any kind of cell we want to study what your genome does to the cells implicated in disease. We're using this framework to essentially trying to understand the spread of these viruses, and we're using genomics to doing this. We have this tension. How do you advance cutting edge innovation at the same time as how do you actually have practical results? You have to take the long view to be successful, and your job then as a company is to survive long enough to execute on that long-term plan. The academics do research really well, take a lot of risks, pharma and biotech that know how to do the latter. Figuring out how to make them work together effectively and take advantage of their complementary expertise is a far better way to spend our energy. One of the things that I've learned is that creativity in translation and drug discovery requires some random collisions of fine minds because we have colleagues, collaborations, multidisciplinary excellence, and infrastructure.